Job's Adversity and Restitution. The story of Job, prophet of us, a contemporary of Abraham and Melchizedek, is full of interest to Bible students. Not only the facts, but their typical significance interest us when we learn that Job's experiences represented the fall and rising again of humanity. Job was wealthy, honored, and prosperous. Suddenly, disaster came upon him. A bolt of lightning struck the house where his sons and daughters were having a birthday party. They were all killed. Then he lost his sheep, asses, goats, camels, and herds. Under the stress, he lost his health and broke out with boils from head to foot. Next, he lost his friends, who declared that all this meant his utter repudiation by God. Finally, his wife turned against him and said, You are cursed of God. I wish you would die. Poor Job wished the same and prayed, Oh, that thou wouldst hide me in Sheol, the tomb until thy wrath be past, that thou wouldst appoint me a set time, and in resurrection remember me. Messiah will fulfill this prophecy. All of this loss of health, strength, friends, and wealth taught Job valuable lessons. Similarly, poor humanity is learning important lessons of its need of divine care. Under God's providence, Job was restored to prosperity, health, etc. He got back just as many children, twice as many oxen, sheep, camels, and asses. Bible students tell us that it ultimately will be so with humanity, according to the Bible, that the curse of sin and death will be removed, that instead the blessing of God will flow down upon the human family for a thousand years giving back life to all who have gone down into death and multiplying the blessings of the earth more than double. This lesson is further illustrated in Israel's jubilee year, when all debts were canceled and the people returned to their original possessions. This type of period referred to as the times of restitution. <laughs>